Hamilton copies Megan once again. Now they say that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. But for Hamilton, this just comes off as borderline stalkerish and creepy. This is creepy and this is just too, too much. Members of the squad, it's too much. It's like she has no identity in the royal family. That she has to copy, 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 time and time again. In the hopes that people will finally, you know, compliment her or say nice things about her. But in reality, this is an obsession. A sick, disgusting obsession with Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. Kim Milton, someone needs to tell you, you are not Megan and you never will be Megan. Megan has a good heart. Which is something that Kim Milton will never ever have. Now, members of the squad, someone called Sophia said this. Copy Kate is at it again. In typical current fashion, she has zero shame in demonstrating her obsession over Megan. It's so sick. And indeed, this is just so, so sick. And whatever Megan wears, Kim Milton copies. And don't be, don't be surprised when the time comes for Kim Milton to copy Megan's fashion or what she wore you know, during the Queen's Platinum Thanksgiving, service of Thanksgiving. Don't be surprised when she does that as well because you're seeing that she's copying everything. It's like she has a mirror whereby she's asked, you know, what did Megan wear? And then Kay Milton says, okay, I want that too. Maybe people will like me. Maybe the crowd will like me if I wear what Megan wore. Kay Milton, it's about the heart. Something that Kim Milton will never understand. The love that people have for Megan comes from the heart because Megan has a good heart. And someone said this, that this gives us stalker vibes. Just a matter of days until we see her in Denim, on Denim, members of the squad. Don't be surprised, don't be surprised because Kim Milton is just copying, 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 copying Megan. Now, another person say that Kim Milton is creeping us out a lot with this weird obsession with Megan. Always imitated, time, time again, but never duplicated. Some of course Suzette said this, Kim Milton likes to copy and imitate Megan, but she will never ever be like Megan. Members of the squad. Now Kim Milton, after 10 years of being in the royal family, 10 years of being in the royal family, more than a decade, still up to now, she does not have an identity. She has no identity, zero identity. Because time and time again, the tablets keep saying, hey, look, how K. Milton is coming into a role. How K. Milton is, you know, coming into a role. Time and time again, they keep on saying the same, same thing. After being in the royal family for 10 years, K. Milton is stepping into her role as the future queen of England. Come on, seriously, seriously, seriously? No wonder she likes to copy, copy Megan time and time again. Hamilton, you'll never ever be like Megan. And members of the squad, someone else said this, that woman is not okay. She's always copying Megan time and time again. It's like she wants to turn herself into a clone of Megan Marco. And indeed, to be quite frank with you, it is true. She really is trying to look like Meghan Markle. Everything that Meghan wears, Kim Milton wants to wear. Even the shoes that Meghan is wearing, even the shoes. Just look at those shoes, those white shoes that she's wearing. Just like what Meghan wore while they were headed over to Netherlands, while they were in Netherlands, sorry, for the Invictus Games. She's copying everything. She's copying everything. Everything that Megan does, K. Milton wants to do. Everything that Megan wears, K. Milton wants to wear. I guess I'm understanding why when it's Kate's birthday, you can always have to insult Megan to remind us that it's Kate's birthday. On William's birthday, you can always have to say something nasty or insulting towards Harry to remind the public that it's William's birthday. They have zero identity, zero identity. The press has to practically, you know, insult her and Megan 
to try and do PR for Kim Nelson and Prince William time and time again. They can't praise or talk about Prince William and Kim Nelson without trashing Harry and Meghan. And Kim Nelson and Prince William, even Kate right now, as we speak, look at what she's wearing. Copying Meghan again. When will she stop? When will she stop with a fixation with Meghan, on Meghan? I mean, Meghan already has enough fixation with the tabloids. The racist current that have been targeting her because a white prince fell in love with a mixed race woman, Meghan. Kimilton, this is weird. This is weird. And someone said that this is why I call her creepy. Pick an identity, any of them. But Megan, please, it's gross. Stop copying Megan. Stop copying Megan Kimilton. Please stop copying Megan. And time and time again, attention seeking Kimilton tries to copy Megan once again in an effort to garner attention. That's what she wants to do. And members of the squad, Megan doesn't even live. In the UK anymore. And yet, Kim Milton is still copying Megan. All the way from Netherlands, what Megan wore in the Netherlands, Kim Milton wants to wear as well, is wearing currently as we speak as well. Today, today, she wore the same thing that Megan wore when she was at the Netherlands for the Invitas Games. When will this person stop copying? When will she stop copying? Members of the squad. And someone said that this is a sinister sickness, a deliberate, you know, wrong. Stop copying me again. Another said. And members of the squad, this person, Kate Milton, has gone from copying the late Princess Diana to copying me again. When will she stop? Kate Milton is always copying, 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 copying time and time again. Members of the squad. Come on, come on, come on. You know, I'm reminded, you know, this reminds me of the fact that, you know, I remember that article that was written in that investigation whereby, you know, Kim Milton attended Sarah Everett's vigil that was declared illegal by police. And then in the police report, the, the police, they scrubbed Kim Milton's name and then put... Megan's name over there. The smear campaign. The attempt to try and keep Kim Milton squeaky clean. Time and time again. What Megan said was true. These people, what they're trying to do right now, they're copying Megan, they're smearing Megan at the same time. These people, they wanted Megan, the royal family, the farm, wanted Megan to be 50% of herself. And now we understand why. So the likes of Kate Milton can catch up or try and copy Megan. But time and time again, she fails. I mean, Megan is not living in the UK anymore. And still she's copying Megan. It shows you the fact that she lacks an identity. Kate Milton lacks any form of identity. And right now, it's embarrassing. It's really, really become so, so embarrassing. So, so embarrassing. Even Kim Milton tries to do even her hair just like Megan. It's like, I want to be like you. I want to dress like you. I want to get the public to gain, to get attention. She wants the public to get, you know, to give her attention. And still, Kim Milton will never garner the affection of the public, will never pull crowds in the manner that Megan was able to pull crowds and still is able to pull crowds to this day. The tabloids won't stop obsessing over Prince Harry and Meghan time and time again. They won't stop obsessing over them. Despite the fact that they don't even live in the UK anymore. And members of the squad, I just want to hear your opinion about this, about K. Milton constantly copying Meghan time and time again. What do you think? What's wrong with this? What's, what's wrong with K. Milton? What's wrong with her? Does she just want to be like that of Sussex? There's no way in hell for her to ever be like Megan. And members of the squad, what do you think about this? I want to hear your opinion about this because 
Her stylist, Kim Wilson's stylist, must be watching every Megan appearance in the hopes that, you know, she can spark some attention towards Kim Milton. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Stop copying Megan, Kate. Stop copying Megan. You will never ever be like Megan. Megan has a good heart. And your heart, Kim Milton, is not good. You're the person that lied that the black woman made you cry. That Megan made you cry. And the world sees you for who you are. And that won't change. We'll hold the royal family accountable for its actions, for its constant smears targeting Prince Harry and Meghan. And now they're trying to, they chase Harry and Meghan out of the UK. Only for them to now copy Harry and Meghan. How Meghan dresses. What's next? What's, what she's going to copy next? She even does a hairstyle in the manner in which Meghan does it. What's next? Constantly copying Megan. Constantly copying Megan. Stop. Stop. It's just so sick and twisted. It's so sick and twisted. This is obsessive behavior and just creepy. I want to hear your opinion about this, members of the squad. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Keywords daily and consistent. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you family always and forever with so much love from Cisco Family TV. May God bless you and your family and see you on our next video. Hello members of Cisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.